All right, everybody, it's uh, 7.01, and here on May Day, May 1st. Um, <laughs> All right, people. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'd like to go ahead and start the meeting, and I'll start the meeting with the Pledge to the Flag. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great, justice, liberty, liberty, justice. <laughs> justice, liberty. Okay, so um, it turns out that the town board meeting right now is attended only by the town board members, so we're going to dispense with privilege of the floor and move on to the agenda. And I would like to offer a couple of additions. Um, one I'd like to offer in addition to appoint Adam Hilker um, to the town's review board, or no, no, to the town's planning board. I'd like to offer a resolution to allow me to sign the contract with Municipal Solutions for financial services advising. And, um, then I would like to discuss with you briefly the CEO posting and put that and get get everybody's uh, see if we can get consensus on mm -hmm. on how to how to position that uh, position how to um, the terms for that position. So those are my three additions. Does anybody else have anything to add? No. Nope. Okay. Well, having added those things, then I will offer a resolution um, of appointments to the town. Mark, can I just make one yes. business or one committee? So today we met with Yvette finishing up the website and we're going to be doing a soft launch for the board next week. Yep. So we'll send you, Mark and me, we'll send you two, two weeks. Oh, two weeks. right. I knew right. The soft launch is next right. week. Mm -hmm. um, the URL, and then if you have suggestions, um, return it within another week so that we the event needs to get this done. It's very, very thorough, very well done. We want you to take a look at it. Okay, that's all. Yeah. So, yeah, that's an added item to the discussion or you know, thing. So, mm -hmm. the soft launch is you'll get a URL that gets you to the website, but it's not public yet. Then you can look at it, and then if you can just send me back um, any thoughts you have on it, for, any, no, well, I would say any content, right? Any content on content, content yeah. The design's locked in. Ooh. Okay. Cal, did you have something? Okay. All right. So I will proceed to offer resolution. Are we, is that okay? Yep. For the appointments. Okay. So. Um, to the Zoning Board of Appeals. And uh, so, whereas the town of Caroline adopted its first zoning law on March 20, 24, um, whereas administration of zoning appeals is administered by a three member Zoning Board of Appeals, um, resolved Caroline Town Board hereby appoints Robin Sisney, David Makar, and George Schoenbeck to the Town of Caroline Zoning Board of Appeals. And further be it resolved, the Caroline Town Board designates Robin Sisney as chairperson of the Caroline Zoning Board of Appeal. Do I have a second? A second. Second by Michelle. Mm -hmm. And I will clarify that I did confirm with Robin that he's willing to be the chair. Okay. Right. <laughs> Is it best if we point a chair or let them work it out amongst themselves? I think I, it, it says, the zoning law says that we appoint the chair. Yeah, okay. The town board appoints the chair. Okay. So. Um, and they can always reach out to us if, yeah. if there are issues or whatever. Um, and, uh, you know, I think we discussed it and yeah, mm -hmm. Robin makes a lot of sense from her experience. So, um, are we ready to vote? Yeah. Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? And that is unanimous. Thank you. And now we now have a zoning board of appeals.
And do they start out with staggered terms or do we stagger them for them? Or I know it says something. Yeah, we didn't do that, remember. right? Oh my goodness. Did I not do that in this resolution? Yeah. I didn't. Um, goodness. I thought I did somewhere. Hang on a second. Are they yeah. terms you did, I remember saying. Yeah, that. but yeah. I just can't remember. Let's put it in the resolution. I'm glad you mentioned that. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I know I did. Yeah, it's in some previous email. Yeah, because yeah, you have to start out. Because it's five year term. So maybe staggered. It has it has to be because they're staggered, it has to be three year terms for a three member board. Yep. Right. So Ooh, somehow that math seems wrong, but so you guys thought you saw that somewhere. Yeah, I did. I don't see it in this document. I thought I had it there. I think well, we I would just recommend that the chair is three years. Um, Dave Maycar, we chose mm -hmm. in the first round is two years, mm -hmm. and then George is one year. That would make sense. Yeah. So yeah, to start out. Yeah, happens so they're already doable. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. It does. So I'm going to add a. Can we unvote on that? Sure, sure. Let's unvote okay. on it, <laughs> Jesse. We're going to add all not in all not in favor. <laughs> <laughs> a further another and further be it further resolved a, a third resolved. Yeah. Um, that. Robin Sisney's term be this year and two more. Is three years is three years. Is, 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 is three years. Should we say renewable? What's that? Should we say renewable? They're renewable, right? They're renewable anyway. I don't think we need to say that. So it was three years. Um, David Maycar's term is two years. Starting, starting at two years. Right, is, okay. That, and then a regular term would be three years. Right. Going forward. Right, but what we're saying is that like Robin is gonna be 24, 25, 26. Right. Right. David's going to be 24, 25. Right. And George is just going to be 24. And then we'll renew yeah. it after yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Renew George in three, three years. years. It, you know, okay. Just... Okay. Right. Okay. <clears throat> um, it so seems like it's without saying. But... Robin's, yeah, I know. So Robin Sisney's term is three years. They, um, it's not like they have to. Beginning. 2024, David Maker's term is two years, and George Schillenbeck's term is one year. How about comma, all renewable? Is that yep. good to put in? Or period. That's three um, years. All subsequent appointments are for three years. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a semicolon. Yeah. yeah. Subsequent. Should there be a term limit? Appointments. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Yeah. We don't have term limits for anything else. Three no. years. I don't think so. I mean, because it, it's it's at the discretion of how, how many people are going to want to do this. For yeah, you have, have to do it to you die. <laughs> like Robin said, she was on on. Yeah. ZBA in another town yeah. for 15 years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. So if you have somebody that's doing it, liking it, doing it well. And they have. I have experience. And yeah. And right. fair. I mean, and historical if, knowledge. If there are concerns, yep. the town board. If there are concerns, we just wouldn't renew them. We just wouldn't renew them. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. And I also, I also think that if somebody is stepping down, then somebody else will step up. Yeah. Yeah. And it's refreshes things and yeah. keeps. So, I mean, there, I think there's good reasons for both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, at, yeah, I see what you're saying. at the end, somebody, you know, we put out, they're going to be, you know, there's going to be appointments, people can come forward, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, and, and apply to be on it. Yeah. Well, I just don't understand why there would be term limits for one 
from any enough or any others. I I understand, but I I guess for me, I just see from the Supreme Court on down. I think there should be term limits. I I might totally agree with you, but again, no, uh, why why would there be one <laughs> committee that has term limits and none of the other committees? But you've got to start some. Well, no, you don't. I don't. I, mean, I think you should change. Why would you propose it? If we want to do that, that's a separate discussion. Right. Right. It's it totally fun. I just and we could do it for all right. all. I think Paul's yeah, fine yeah. letting go. So, so. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, Mark, yeah. would you would you read back that addition to me for the record just so I I think I've got it, but it'd be helpful. Thank you. Understood. Yeah, and I, I did write it down, but yeah, I'm happy, happy to read it. So I said the third resolved is resolved that Robin Sisney's term is three years beginning 2024. David Makar's term is two years, and George Schillenbeck's term is one year, semicolon. Subsequent appointments are for three years, period. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, while we have you on the phone, um, you and I talked about the um, review board. Um, Yes. Would we want? Would we want to? Um, we we need to uh, we need to designate the review board clerk. So I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and do that now while we're, while we're doing this. Sure. Does that sound good. Okay. So um, I will offer a resolution to designate uh, town clerk. Jessica Townsend as the clerk of the review board. Second. Seconded by Tim. Does she want to do that? She I do you want to do that, Jesse? Is that is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Great. Right. Thank you. That would be great. We had discuss we did discuss it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kate. Any further, did I miss any other embellishments on this resolution? Starting term limits? No. <laughs> we, we, we put that one aside. It's, it's, yeah, it's but, I mean, one year starting January 1st or? No, it just starts now. Should no, okay. Yeah, yeah but because it didn't exist before. Right. So starting May 1st or? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Effective immediately. I, until further notice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the way it'll be, too. <laughs> Great. Okay. Does that sound good, everybody? And that, I mean, I think that's a good point. We can always, you know, so. So without further ado, we've made that designation. I think, um, the review board is meeting next week. Um, I don't know if Jesse's going to clerk that, but it's good to have this in place. So um, without further ado, I'll call for a vote. Is that okay with you guys? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Opposed? And thank you, Jesse, very much. Um, and now um, we have the second resolution on the meeting agenda about the amendment of the Caroline flag and banner policy. Um, So um, I guess um, I'll, I'll offer it if nobody else wants to, but um, this is the amendment of our flag and banner policy, whereas by resolution 76 of 2019, the Caroline Town Board adopted the Town of Caroline flag and banner policy to allow approved flags to be flown at the town offices by request of any Caroline resident. And whereas with the experience of five years with this policy in place, the Town Board has observed instances and received feedback in this regard where approved flags have nevertheless caused concerns within the community, especially when unintentionally or not related to charged political events or situations. And whereas the Caroline Town Board recognizes that the flag and banner policy was developed with the best of intentions to promote positive themes upon request by Caroline residents, but now concludes that display of flags upon individual resident requests is not appropriate at the Caroline Town Hall. Therefore, be it resolved, the Caroline Town Board hereby amends the Town of Caroline Flag and Banner Policy of 2019 as follows. 
All flags flown on the town's main flagpole shall fly in accord with the standards of the United States Code, Title IV, or applicable, applicable law. The U.S. flag shall be flown unless otherwise, unless authorized by resolution of the Caroline Town Board. Only one of the following additional flags may be flown, always below and smaller than the U.S. flag. The New York State flag and the POW MIA flag. And further be it resolved, any flow, flag flown at the town office building entrance shall be for the purpose of signaling that a particular town department is open to the public. I'll second it. Second it by Cal. And does, does that seem to cover the bases? Are people satisfied with that? Yeah, it was well written to <clears throat> With that, it was well written. Oh, thank and you. Clear. Thank Great. you. It was a team effort. So thanks for all the feedback. So. Great. Okay. If there's no further comment, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous. Thank you. Um, I will now move a resolution to um, appoint Adam Hilker to the town's uh, planning board resolved the Caroline Town Board hereby appoints Adam Hilker to the town's planning board with a term through 2026. I did look this one up. <laughs> um, that's it. I'll second. Second by Michelle. Any further comments? So Adam did reply to me that he's interested in the planning board and um, Good. He connected by email with Bill, and so they've had the back and forth. And okay, good. Oh, that's good. They're good with that. So, okay. all right. So, without further ado, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous. I didn't vote yet. You're oh, fast. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I guess I'll say aye. Okay. Great. It's a delay to aye. <laughs> Did I call for a vote too soon? If, if there were, I was just. Deacon. I just thought it died. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Did you hear back from uh, Cynthia Kennel? Did not. No. no. Um, let's see, making sure I am covering my bases here. So so we only have one member for the planning board right now. No, we have I four. mean not no, not yeah, yeah I misspoke. Yeah. Okay. Member? Uh, I was you know. The ZBA is a totally new one. That we have That's right. Had. And then this is just for. Yeah. And Bill confirmed with and I the existing we'll... members that Will and Barb are both. What about Val? Yeah. No. No. Um, he's, he's, he's got other, he's maxed out. It's too bad. Was well, there going to be something about an alternate or is that another board? Who? An alternate. Oh, right. An alternate for. Uh... So we could. Um, I think there's I think what I was thinking about was uh, no, an alternate for what? For the planning board. Well, we did remember a couple of years ago, we so we're now at four members. We can put seven members on. So there's three more vacancies. But they have four working members now, which is okay. that's a that's a good effort. So and if people came forward and wanted to be on the planning board, we could yeah, set it up. We always are open to applicants. Mm -hmm. so. And so then if you uh, had more than seven people, you know, more people, then one of those could be an alternate. Is that right? You know? I don't think there's a provision for an alternate on the planning board. Yeah. It's only under a few months. It's so large. Yeah. yeah. It's, okay. I think seven is large. I think Bill's pretty satisfied if they get to five, which was the normal. If you remember, we thought there was more energy than that, that we want to provide capacity for that, but it, 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 I don't know if we've ever had seven, really. I think it's always. My recollection is we upped it to seven to try to get through the comp, the comp plan revisions because the workload was so heavy and it, they were also doing- Oh, was the, it heavy back then? Yeah, and I think we were also doing, starting to do the battery silver law. Mm -hmm. huh. And okay. also it was because a number of planning board members had been appointed to the zoning commission, right. so we wanted a more robust thing to pull from. So it's probably not necessary now, but that's that's why we did it at the time. Okay. Great.
And I think um, I think there is a provision for an alternate on the ZBA. There is. So, so we should keep our eyes out for that. Yep. So. Any other appointment questions or thoughts? Great. I'm I'm really happy with where we're at. I I think I think four members on the planning board is decent. Um, and I'm really happy that uh, the three members have stepped up to on the ZBA. So that's great. Um, so I'll offer resolution to um, authorize me to sign the contract with Municipal Solutions. So resolved, the Caroline Town Board hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a contract with uh, Municipal Solutions, um, Municipal Service Advisors for General Financial Services. Second. Second by Tim. And the, I shared the contract in February and then again today on short notice, but um, I feel um, I, I did reach out to Guy um, originally about this and, and he was, like I, I said by email, he was, he strongly endorsed um, this firm. For... And the fee, the fees seem very reasonable for mm -hmm. what they're taking on. If that's okay. Yeah. And yeah, Cal asked about other projects they're doing. They're doing driving broadband, Lansing Highway project, yeah. um, lots of, they, they have good good depth in this area, so. All right, so call for a vote. Nobody wants to argue about it? Okay, so all in favor? Aye. Aye, opposed, great, thank you. Thanks for doing the research into that. Yeah. Ooh. Say what? Thank you for doing the research into that. Oh, yeah. Sure. You're welcome. Um, I, um, okay, so I, I shared the, um, I'm, I'm overdue to put out the posting for our code enforcement officer, and I'd like, I'll, I'll probably do it after this meeting. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do people, did you have a chance to see the email I sent about that today? I did, mm -hmm. yeah. So, okay. Um, so I was delighted to, I, I, I thought of it and I thought, I'll look at that code study to see if they have, if they compiled comparative data on that and they, they had, so that was nice. Um, yeah. I, I'll, I'll be interested to see if we get a different crop of applicants than the last time. I know, well, not qualified. Um, because it's full time. Because it's full time, yeah. But it also is two different jobs, just from my general people. You know, some people do look, want a half time job. Right. I mean, yeah. code and zoning are two quite different jobs. And it's not that one person can't do them. And if we had two part time people from home, cover for the other I don't know I'm just I'm not just I'm just trying to throw, I'm just throwing up well one, yeah. one problem with two part-time people is that they would both have um benefits right so well, we we would want to do that well, but it would be well, that would be yeah. difficult I, I would right. have a hard time well our part-time code guys have process benefits, right so right. well I, I mean I'm not convinced that the jobs are so completely different um the <clears throat> the work of the cut office as we have it structured who receives all applications mm -hmm. is really intertwined into code into zoning review if we had two separate people part-time we would have to be constantly interacting with each other mm -hmm. which if nothing else would take more time or be yeah. more inefficient so i'm not too worried about it yeah <clears throat> i mean what i you know, maybe I'm in La La Land, but what I said from the start is, you know, this looks to me like, okay, we have, we have the zoning map with the districts. And so when the code officer gets an application, I mean, you, so the first thing you would do, and this is what, this is what has to happen is the, the zoning approval has to happen first. So it doesn't seem that- no designation, designation. Yeah. So yeah. just look to see where it is. 
is it allowed? And if there are any siting issues with the things that are mentioned in the zoning law, like steep slopes or riparian buffers or whatever. So I, I almost think it's a necessity that the code officer would be. And I prepared a kind of a sequential cheese sheet for the, mm -hmm. for, for the new temporary officer. And it's pretty, I mean, it's just click, click, click in terms of looking down the sheet, figuring out where, where they are, mm -hmm. which basically the code officer would almost have to do anyway, because they still have to worry about placement, septic, template, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, I'm not convinced that it's overly complicated to have the same yeah. person do it. One's about what and one's about where. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Um, I feel that the job, maybe it's included in it without saying, but I think it needs to be said that stormwater. Yeah. Is, I mean, we should include all the stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. Because I think that, again, I think, you know, yeah. Five, six years down the road, that's going to be well, the, the requirements, reporting, design. You know, this is, there's a, there's, I think, I feel it's quite a bit that's going to be added on to require. So, five, six years down the road, if reporting requirements or something are so substantial, then we'll get a separate that town board will consider. Supplementing the position. Yeah. But you'd like to see it on the description. Yes. Just, yeah. yeah. I think well, I think it should be. Yeah. I mean, like and there's part of it kind of goes without. I think it the, was, wasn't it? I think it should be on there. I yeah. shared the yeah, one, but I'll make sure it's yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 There's a lot, you the know, loading and filing. You know, it's it's gonna to be too much. No, you're saying it's gonna to be too much? It, no, it, there's a lot. It's going to be too much for somebody just mm -hmm. the way it has been, either Barry or just. I think, I think there's going to, it wants to be a paid position. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but I don't know. I just, I'd like to see that in there. Well, that yeah. is, yeah. The code officer is the. Uh, designated um, whatever it's called stormwater manager for the town yeah. because they have to receive um, SWIPs, um, you know, yeah. management permits and either send them to the county for review or yeah. so it's really important. It would make sense person okay buildings and sites and everything else has an idea of where the stormwater runoff's going or and how it's going to impact it. That was important. So um, so good, we're agreed on that, right? It's yep. The description. I I think you should go ahead and put it out and see what, see what we catch. The one thing I, I put on there was um, I, so it's it's full time, no equivocation on that. Um, for the hours, you there are none of, you put the hours in. So our if you remember, we we put the trip. Mm -hmm. line for full time at 30 hours a few years ago. So I listed 30 to 40 hours as the um, is that <clears throat> or I would say 35 to 40. Okay. I mean yeah. I think that's where I started. 30 psychologically yeah. Is, yeah. Give signals uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I can just stop at 30. Okay. I'm Which we don't want. That. Right. I'm definitely good with that. And it certainly seems to me there's more work during the summer spring, summer, fall, and winter's kind of a... Not this year. Not this year. <laughs> Not this year. Building right. season was almost all year round. Also, what the code officers have always wanted to do is, you know, like they've got to do um, the safety inspections. Yeah. And, you know, those, so they've got, yeah, those are going to be done in the winter time. So a lot to do. Do we want to be reviewing our charges for... Reviewing charges. You mean, you mean our fees? A building permit is this much? Oh, maybe, but not right now. But yeah, yeah we could. I would say that that's the sort of thing we would want to do in tandem with a new person if we felt the need to do it. We'd want to do it how? In tandem with the new person if yeah. we felt the need to do it. 
And I'm going to look back at the code study and see if they have anything about. I know there was talk of doing a countywide mm -hmm. structure, and that would be really helpful if we, as long as we felt like it was okay for Caroline, but I bet we would. I, I think yeah, possible. I mean, I've always have been in favor of keeping ours as modest as possible, since I believe that the code officer is a public servant and serving the public good. So I, I would want to keep the threshold low for the given the tenants population, mm -hmm. just philosophically. Mm -hmm. But we'd have to look at the numbers and see how they compare with other. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's something certainly we can delve into. So that was a uh, hours. That's it. Then I think I put an hourly rate of 25 to 30 an hour. Yep. Is that okay? Great. Starting something like that. Great. Okay. I will post that tonight. Great. They, Thank they, you. Have to, they have to be licensed before we can hire them. So what do Crash. Um, that was not. I thought I remember something about. No, they um, they changed their mind. I talked to somebody about that. In the past. Oh, I guess it was. I was talking to. I think Brian. I was talking to Brian about it. So, you know, he was willing to. Um, he basically, you know, help with the transition. So while the person's getting the trainings they need, so um, there's a there's a basic training they need before they can start. It's not all the training. So okay, that's it. so yeah. So he was willing to help with that. But yeah, that's going to be something we have to pay attention to. And, and if he could mentor them, it's just so they get there, they know the ropes. I think sometimes it seems like in the past it's been a little cold turkey. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. So. Great. Sounds good. Good. Okay. Thanks. So I will um, I will post it to later later or uh, today uh, under those terms as discussed. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, okay, we're flying right along. Um, let's see. I'll get um, you home for Ham's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> um, the um so i see that let's see so um first of all i just so i sent an email around to everybody so we've got a draft a first draft of the revised subdivision law mm -hmm. from nan so i sort of separately asked the, the review board planning board and us to review it um and so you know, it's to provide feedback and not rewrite it. And, you know, when, when we're agreed upon putting something forward, then we'll set a public hearing and have a public hearing, which will be another opportunity for public input on it, so. And I would like to set that public hearing as soon as possible. Yeah. I mean, we, we are currently handicapped by these extant subdivision law mm -hmm. in a very, very serious way. Mm -hmm. Can we set the public hearing? I know we've got a, we can't set the public hearing now. The well, we could. <laughs> I, it, 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 I think we should wait a little. Um, I think we should encourage, I hope we can encourage anybody who's looking at this to have looked at it and given us feedback within two weeks. Mm -hmm. I would think, yeah. I would think we believe that the next meeting would have a sense of mm -hmm. these kind and or scale or lack of scale of feedback that we're getting. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. we could be in a better position of knowing how quickly we could get this moving. So do you have to know, is it on the review board's uh, agenda for their mm -hmm. next meeting to discuss this? That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Yep. And, and Bill is, is assembling his team to okay. discuss it. So I think we, I, I think it, our goal should be to maybe set the public hearing at the May 15th meeting for okay. uh, sometime in June, maybe the business yeah. meeting. Okay. Um, or actually, the public hearing could be 
at the June at agenda that, meeting, and then I we think could, that would be preferable. Yeah, yeah. we did that. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I would like this law to be publicly in the record, mm -hmm. absolutely as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where do you feel we're seriously short with the existing? Where do you feel we're seriously? The current subdivision law is completely out of whack. So it doesn't it doesn't really work with the zoning law. So it yeah, no, I understand that it doesn't, but is there some glaring? Is there some what? Glaring, glaring. inconsistency or um so the most glaring inconsistency are the, the land subdivision exemptions. The rural, the rural land subdivision, yeah. Rural land subdivisions, small residential subdivisions. So, if we want to administer those, this is my opinion. Everyone may not agree, <laughs> um, but it, you know, if we want to administer those properly, and um, it's interesting because, you know, I'm not quite sure how it works because, as I just said earlier, you know, if any approval has to be in line with the zoning law, but then. You know, so so the complication is if you have these exemptions, they're exempt from review, but they're not exempt from the re the zoning bill. Right. So and are they, are they they exempt for coordinating? Yeah. yeah. So it's it, you got to have them. You got to have them. Yeah. yeah. So it's it, it and the other mm -hmm. point I want to make is like I was talking to Nan about this. This law is it comes from the state authority, state law. And what this is, I mean, it, you'll see if you look at our existing subdivision review law and this one, you'll see a lot of the same stuff. This is process. This is just about making sure that the details of the subdivision development are done properly. Um, so, yeah, because you said that you you sent a link to uh, Department of State regulate. Yeah, that document. Yeah. That document. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, I think, um, you know, maybe at the May 15th meeting, we should, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I've looked it over. I don't have much to add. I might look it over once more, but we should we should compare notes. I've looked it over pretty carefully. I mean, there's only really one thing that I noticed that didn't seem to be, that we might just want to tweak. And there was something mm -hmm. about the number of houses that could be connected to a driveway. Yeah, mm -hmm. four or something. And it just depends on what mm -hmm. I didn't have a chance to go back and look at the definition for driveway. Mm -hmm. I mean that that's actually the only thing that I saw mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. that's good. Were, you know, so raised my good. eyebrows, I believe. So should we should we have that? Should we plan on at our in two weeks to I would like yeah, to, yeah. Yeah. each offer our thoughts yeah. or yeah. compare notes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I always need a deadline. Okay. May 15th. <laughs> The deadline is May 14th. Sorry. <laughs> the deadline is May 14th. 14th yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't be doing it on the 14th. Yeah, this, if the state says, like in some document, that he, these are the, you know, re, re, there's requirements and recommendations, mm -hmm. how does that relate with home rule? Say that they. Well, a recommendation is not a requirement. Right. But what about at the next level? The state distinguishes between recommendations and best practices. Something might not be recommended, but it is the best practice. Maybe that's it. I just wonder. I mean, if know. there's an issue that where we think we want to apply home rule, let me know. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't think of any specifics, but yeah. I just, you know, it just left me because I, I tried getting through. I got through part of the state link from the Department of State, and I just, you know, it just left me. Well, what? Then you fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Um, but you know, what if we just don't know? We don't want to do it that way. That's fine. Do we, we can consider that? Those are part of the word Trump, the states. What what trumps the state? Us. I don't our, so. our municipal home rule would it? You know, can we say no? We don't want to. I mean, and this is just they're hypothetical. So it just there's not way time. On it. That came up a number of times with the zoning commission. Okay. Hmm. And the general consensus was, and actually I share that belief that there's no need to buck the state on this. It would just complicate things. It could result in unnecessary 
legal proceedings over very minor issues. Oh yeah, uh, there was the, the yeah. issue mm -hmm. with the zoning law was the percentage that can be used in the amount building for all businesses <laughs> to define the business. Yeah, yeah. The zoning commission finally just. I think unanimously agreed to stick with the state, state oh, recommendation because the yeah. they've got so I mean they've got just a broader data you know and seen more situations and well, I just what, think they would win if they were serious yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just um, they totally they would win if they took oh, yeah, so you, but you can have your local officials that okay here's the rule but they just ignore it well that's a different issue mm -hmm. yeah it, it is but, um, but that's why that's why we hire the code enforcement officer. Mm -hmm. Yep, it is. Great. So I, I think really, I mean, bring thoughts together for the next meeting. That's mm -hmm. where I think I, I'm not prepared to today. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't gotten through it. I haven't gotten through it either. So, yeah. so we'll, that's that's on the to-do list. So great. And um so I do want to mention that um, another hundred pages of reading. Yeah, <laughs> so it's only, it's yes. only eighty. Strategic, eight. strategic reading. Yeah. Okay. So a couple of um, so I want to mention EIC and Mike Brown have been working to make a re recommendation to the town on a provider for community solar. For, for both the municipal accounts and for a campaign for the town. Um, so I think they expect to be uh, presenting something to us at the next meeting. Great. Yeah, okay. So, um, and- um, Yeah, Sammy. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think you're on the meeting, Mike, if you wanna add any comments, you're welcome to. You have to make a co-host or anything like that. Yeah. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah got you now. Yeah, I'm eating dinner. <clears throat> I was uh, I'm unprepared. <laughs> I'm that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, was was there a question or? Um... No, I I just made I just mentioned um, the DIC is planning to uh, make a re recommendation on a, 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 a community solar provider, and I was just asking if you wanted to add any comments. Yeah, I, um, I think we'll, well, we've been sort of voting um, in our internal process. Um, uh, is there anything that the board would want from us other than just presentation of a recommendation? Probably if you had documents about whoever you're recommending. Yep. For us to consider that would probably be. I, I will just offer here that. Um, Mike has done a great job of um, distilling information in, in a comparative way. So if, if you want to present that kind of thing, Mike, that would be awesome. Yeah, sure. And um, if we're, if there would be a resolution to move forward with that provider at the next meeting, how far in advance before that meeting would you want to see this information so that you can make a decision? Aha. Uh -huh. Two years. <laughs> Interesting point. So I wasn't, yeah. So, so is there, Mike, is there an urgency for us to do this at the next meeting? Could we do it at the following meeting after we've heard your recommendation, mold it over? But is there some urgency? Um, there, there are slight urgencies with timelines for grants, um, but I could. I could uh, think about how to present that information to you in the next few days to let you know. Um, I could, of course, I, we would, of course, defer to your preference on the timeline. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, is, um, is is there uh, is there an impending um, like? Are we going to miss out on like the nice sort of opportunity if we wait I, two weeks? No, but, I don't. I don't think that's the case. Um, but I, I um, sorry, I've uh, been a long day, and I, I would want to just make sure I've got my everything in order um, to make that statement 
entirely be confident in that. Um, there are timeline issues with grants. Um, and so the, the sooner we move, the better. And we have spent a decent amount of time considering all the different companies, but um, I also appreciate that this is a, an important decision. So I think I would just wanna sit down myself and look at the proposed timeline that I've had in my mind um, and then I can make a better better uh, recommendation. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good, Mike. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Perfect. Um, so that, that be coming to us for the next meeting. I heard that Tompkins County got some award for energy or something. Really? Mm -hmm. There's something on the news the other day. Hmm. I didn't notice. Nope. Here. I was sleeping. Yeah. I missed it. Maybe I was making it up. <laughs> Probably not. Some dream. No, I don't think so. But there was <laughs> something about, you know, there's only four municipalities in New York State got this award or upgraded award. <laughs> something about energy, <laughs> energy efficiency, energy. So brighten up Caroline. It, it was it was a county. I think it was a county. You know, there's only four counties or something in the whole state that qualified for this award. County award energy. Yeah, something like that. We got got a silver. Yeah. Um. So let's see. Well, um, I want to move along here. So. We've got the subdivision review law input feedback that we'll do next week. Um, Tim mentioned the um, the web the, the soft mm -hmm. website rollout, uh, so expect an email from me about that in the next five days or something. Um, and uh, I'm kind of skipping ahead to planning next meeting. Um, any other thoughts? After that, we'll go approve the minutes. Uh, is anything going on with egg in the community? I can't, uh, yes, it is going on. Okay. And they're gonna be sometime soon presenting us with the plan. And then we'll go from there. So, okay. so their meeting will be two Thursdays out, something like that. So, so it's ongoing. It's ongoing, yeah. Um, great. So I, I will um, offer approval of the minutes of April 17th and April 24th for a special meeting. Did people see those? And yeah. Everything okay? Well done. Yep. Great. Well done, Jesse. Great. Yep. I agree. Those are minutes are hereby approved. Um, wow. Have we heard anything from Abella? No, but I will update them. This is good because now I can update them, let them know we have uh, a bonding agent yeah. in place. Yeah. And so when I, I did call Jeff Smith the other day and he said, um, you know, as soon as you have an engineering plan, let's call everybody together and have a meeting. So okay. that'll be the next step. Um, we, I will say that, you know, you know, I, I, my own feeling is we kind of gave LaBella a pretty new um, charge. Yep. So I, I think it's understandable that yeah, they're yeah. still working on it. So I did go over on a, dropped a couple of things off on Saturday morning and took the opportunity to look at the additions that, um, me too. They did on the, it looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think mean, it looks really nice. So, I mean, did, when, when you guys met with Abella, did you charge them with doing a two story or a one story addition on the current? Story? We asked them to evaluate two story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I, my um, question about that was, um, just to ask, well, you know, kind of what to see what Bob's perspective was on the need for that. Because to me, it's like, okay, 
it'd be nice, but you know, it, you want to balance that out with what so, we need, right? But he felt like, well, since we're redoing this now, if we can do it economically, we're trying to increase space, and space was always an issue in the future, then it'd be nice to have. So I, I agree with that. Um, but if the difference between one story and two story is four million dollars, I don't agree with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Um, so we can. I think we can circle back on that a little okay. bit. Um, great. Um, anything else, you folks? Because you know what, I'm going to call for adjournment if, if there's nothing else. Second that. Okay. Are you making a motion? No, <laughs> I just have something to say. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tompkins County was recertified as a silver. Uh, are you doing in you're doing in the silver research. certified climate smart community? Okay. That was it. Yeah, that's what I read that too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so in that regard, um, Mike is helping us get recertified because these certifications don't last forever. Mm -hmm. So he's helping us get re recertified bronze for our climate smart designation. So thank you, Mike. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> he has a lot of energy. Great, so I will offer a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Second by Kate. I'll open the floor for discussion. <laughs> okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thanks everybody. Thank you, Jesse.